Namaste. Uh, so let's talk about affirmations today. Okay. Uh, there is so much written and so much on the net about affirmations that you say something, an affirmative line, it helps, it manifests. That is true. Your words and thoughts are very, very, very powerful. So whatever you say, whatever you think, gets registered in the Akashic Records, in the universe, and sometimes, someday, it fructifies, it manifests. So, as they always say that speak the truth, speak positive, be positive, because that manifests. Now, what happens sometimes with affirmations, that you keep on writing these affirmations, writing these affirmations or you keep on speaking them after a time it gets frustrating and when it gets frustrating then you just completely put it off but that is not the way an affirmation works affirmations how they are made let me tell you how you write an affirmation or how you think about an affirmation in an affirmation there's no that the words like no not not happening such words don't happen like i will not fall ill doesn't work what will work is, I will be healthy. I am healthy. It has to be in the present that it has already happened. I am healthy. People who have cancer, I am cancer free. I am diabetes free. As if it has already happened. These are affirmations. Invariably, people don't know how to make an affirmation. Now, from my point of view, uh, how you can manifest your affirmations? Uh, as I always keep talking about the chakras, now, when we have the seven chakras, if they are activated and aligned, the colors of the chakras which come through them are bright. All the Vibhya colors which comes out through your chakras are bright. When your chakras are blocked, there is no color coming out from them because it is blocked. Now, how does the sun and the earth, when it comes in a proper uh, uh, symmetry when they come in correct zone a rainbow is formed right similarly when your chakras are aligned when they come out in the rainbow color they are aligned with the universal energies your magnetic field is aligned with the earth's magnetic field if your chakras are aligned if they're not aligned you cannot manifest what you want just the way that so the sun and the earth come together, come in a correct position, the rainbow is formed. Similarly, when the chakras are aligned, that rainbow which comes out of your body from the chakras, the colors of the chakras, match with the universal energies. And when we say, Ki meri ku, mera kuch kaam nahi hota hai, I can't manifest what I want, I can't get, though I've been saying my affirmations, I've been writing my affirmations, yet things are not happening with you, is why? Because your magnetic field and the earth's magnetic field is not matching with each other. So if you really want things to really manifest and fast, just the way you want it, you have to correct your inner body, not your outer body. By doing things from the outside is not going to do so much of a change than doing working on your own inner self. Everything is all about your inner self. If nothing is happening in your life is because something inside is gone wrong somewhere. Our body is a fantastic instrument given to us by the divine. We do not know what our bodies can do. Even with this COVID and all, I had made one uh, video where you can tell your body, you can tap your body, you can tell your body, I don't want, the body will not attract COVID. I will not get any disease. Even people who have got some major illnesses, when they speak to their body, the body responds. That powerful the body is. The body is very intelligent. So if you correct your inner body, you can. the body responds to you. You are in proper balance with the magnetic field of the earth and things automatically manifest. So I would say work on your inner self. Don't work on the outside world. Writing affirmations is a very good thing to do, but it works up to a point, not always. I also give a lot of people to write affirmations, okay, write this affirmation. Like one tip again, I'll give you all in this video is, um, whatever affirmation you make, you write it 21 times for 90 days. 
If you miss out on one day, you have to start all over again. So write an affirmation 21 times for 90 days. Like there have been girls who wanting to get married. Now when they write an affirmation, what do they, how will they write an affirmation? The affirmation for marriage is, I am happily married. Which includes everything. Otherwise, what are you going to write? I want to marry a man who is uh, uh, drawing so much salary. He should be uh, in, living in this house. He should be rich. He should be... You can't write so many things in an affirmation, right? So when you're happily married, that includes it all. So you have to be very clever and wise how you make affirmations. You got my point? But again, let me repeat. What can change is your inner world. If you change your inner world, the outer world automatically changes. And you can see that happening magically. I'm talking from my own personal um, experiences. The minute I changed, my outer world changed. Anything I can think, just manifest. Again, this manifestation and affirmations, you got to have a lot of patience. And you have to have faith in the divine. Most of us don't have faith in the divine. If I ask you a question now, do you have faith in the divine? Listen, I'm not talking about trust, I'm talking about faith. If you ask, if I ask you, do you have faith? You all will say yes. But when you're put to test, your faith shakes. Any person going through problems, going through challenges in life, their faith shakes. The first thing you'll ask the divine, why did you do this to me? I've been praying to you for so many years. Why did this happen to me? I get these kind of questions all the time, especially when there is a uh, death of someone close nearby, near one. Then they will. Uh, first thing is what they do is they're angry with the with the divine and they stop praying. So your faith shakes when you have challenges, problems in your life. For a manifestation, faith is very very important. Another thing is patience. You may write a manifestation, you may write an affirmation, but what about the patience? You can't wait. You have to wait till all the things in the universe, till the divine can set the jigsaw puzzle right for you. So do you have that much patience? Do you have that much faith? Ask yourself these questions. Before you start asking for affirmations, everything you want constantly from the divine, one goes to the divine, to a temple or prays in front of the divine only either to ask for something or to complain about something. Isn't it? So these are the only two things when you rem remember the divine. Do you ever offer gratitude? Okay, after your manifestation happens, after all these affirmations you write and speak about affirmations, that if that happens actually, do you remember to actually go to in front of your divine, join your hands and say, Thank you. How many of you do that? Very few. So it's all good to say about affirmations. It's all good to have affirmations. It's all good to have manifestations. Another very important thing is gratitude. We don't offer gratitude. How often do we just pray to God or go to a temple just because I've come to see you? Because I missed you. Because I wanted to thank you. Just thank you for good, bad or whatever that has happened in your life. Have you been doing that? So do a prayer just because you feel like it. Just because you love your divine. Just try doing that. Offer gratitude. Your affirmations and manifestations will automatically happen miraculously. Do this as a, try this out. Every night before you sleep. You think of 10 things that have happened to you in your life and thank the divine these things have happened. It could be just a proper, a good uh, a meal that you have eaten. You have met a friend. Anything, any 10 things you can think of, you think of those things and thank you God for giving me all this. The very fact that you are breathing today is also a miracle. Correct? So remember all these things and offer this gratitude. These are the very few small tips that one can do if you want to walk the path of spirituality. Very helpful. Thank you very much for listening. Namaste.